हरे कृष्णा अनकंडीशनल लव डजेंट मीन दैट वॉट एवर वी डू इज लाउड इट मीन्स दैट वॉट एवर वी डू वी आर लाउड सम पीपल से इफ गॉड ट्रूली लाउड अस देन ही शुड लेट अस डू वॉट एवर वी वॉन्ट वाई डज ही इम्पोज सो मेनी रूल्स ऑन अस Actually, this is a misunderstanding of love. God's love is unconditional. He does not put any conditions on offering His love to us. However, a loving relationship has to be two-way. Love can be one way, but a loving relationship has to be two-way. The person who is offering love, the other person, the other person also has to reciprocate love. so krishna's love is unconditional in the sense that he never abandons anyone surudam sarva bhutana in 5.29 in the bhagavad gita he says i am the well wisher of all living beings he doesn't say that i am the well wisher of the devoted alone or even the well wisher of the pious the spiritually inclined no of everyone without exception he is the well wisher in fact he is the father of all living beings sarva yoni shukante ya murtaya sambhavanti ya tasam brahma mahadyonir aham bija pradah pita in 14.4 he says that he is a seed giving father of all living beings so he is always there in the hearts of everyone sarvasya chaham rudisan nivishto he is present closer than the closest person in our hearts so his love for us is unconditional that means whatever we do we are loved just like parents you know even if the child flunks in the exam and the child becomes a drug addict the parents will love the child but that doesn't mean that the parents will love the drug addiction of the child that doesn't mean the parents will fund the drug addiction so that the poor's child will become more and more addicted and may even kill oneself eventually so the parents they love the child whatever the child does irrespective of what the child does but that doesn't mean that they love whatever the child does similarly krishna differentiates between us and our actions his love for us is unconditional however our actions he wants us to choose those actions that will help us to grow that will help us to evolve that will help us to make our consciousness open enough to experience his love to be enriched by that experience and thus to gain lasting happiness so when krishna tells that i am the well wisher of all living beings at that time he is loving us and when krishna says sarva dharman parityajya mam ekam sharanam vraj you just give up everything and surrender to me aham tvam sarva papebhyo moksha ishami ma shuchha i will protect you from all sinful reactions do not fear here also he is expressing his love so when krishna is asking us to surrender that is not a restriction of our love that is not a restriction of his love for us rather that is an expression of his love for us so that we make choices that are for our ultimate well being so when we understand krishna's love is unconditional then the result is not that we demand absolute freedom but that we voluntarily choose to reciprocate with that love and it is not through freedom to do whatever we want that we will experience the real fulfillment it is by choosing to reciprocate with krishna's love and choosing those actions that express that love and avoiding the actions that that express the opposite of love for krishna that is how we will enrich ourselves with krishna's love so krishna's rules are not simply restrictions to deprive us of joy the rules are like channels by which you can redirect our love towards him and thus become supremely enriched so when we see the rules as facilitating our growth facet towards lasting happiness then we will see even those rules as expressions of krishna's love for us and we will follow the rules as means to express our love for krishna and become enriched thereby thank you hare krishna